Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is M473 here, and today I'm going to be making a, another video. And this video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to do a video on the story of how I got my PS Vita. So, yeah, let's get right into this. Um, it started out as a beautiful day, you know what I'm saying? And my Nana was here at the time. So, we were just chilling. She brought tables over, you know. To help us out with the dog swap business, we had a bunch of stuff to sell. It was a beautiful day, you know. It was a little bit too hot, but you know, it was it was still still beautiful. Had a drink of some nice cold soda. It was just a great day outside to look at everything that people had to sell. It was a beautiful day. So, um, yeah. So I was just chilling, just looking around, and I saw these this these two couples, and they had a truck full of stuff. And they, it was on their table, part of it was on their trunk, and I saw something that I noticed that I liked. And I saw a PS Vita. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't exactly see it, I just saw like like a weird looking case of it. So I'm like, huh, looks weird. I asked what it is, and the dude's like, oh, um, that, that's a PS Vita. And I'm like, what? PS Vita? Are you serious? He's like, yeah, bro, it's a PS Vita. So, I'm like, getting it all excited, because like, bro, this could be a good day. So I'm like, bro, can I look at it? Look at it? He's like, sure. He opens up the case, and he's like, okay, here's all the games and stuff. You just need a, a charger, and that's all you need, man. And, you know, I think it's a slim slim version um and i was excited at the time i really wanted it so at the time i had i brought over my 3ds bought a bunch of random games over and pretty much sold a bunch of stuff actually you know but um except my P except my ds um 3ds and my regular ds so um, I had a couple of DS's games and 3DS's games that will come in handy later not later later on in the story. So I'm like, bro, can I have that? Like, how much is it? And I asked how much is it before I said, can I have it? And he's like, bro, it's like a hundred dollars, or he said something like that, you know. And I'm like, Jesus, this is wow. So I'm like. Bro, can I trade it for something? He's like, sure, man. What do you got? And I'm like, uh, bro, if you want, you can come over here and look. He's like, sure. So I waited at my table, you know, excited. Oh my god, what is he gonna trade me for? So he just comes over, you know, a couple of minutes later, just scrolls around, looks at all their stuff, and I'll tell my dad, hey dad, I'm gonna make a deal with this guy to get a PS Vita. So my dad taught me some tricks on how to trade with people. So, you know, I put my skills to the test, like I want to be the very best. So, I'm like, dude, did you find anything cool? He's like, eh, I'll think about it. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, um, my dad's like, you shouldn't pester him. You should just kind of wait until he makes a decision. So, I kind of walk around, look around more, enjoy my time for the rest of the day, you know, you know, I scroll around, have some fun, look around, drink, you know, some Dr. Pepper. I can't remember what I was drinking. But, uh, it was coming towards the end of the day where everyone was packing up, you know. And this guy, um, my dad knew exactly what he wanted or, you know, he, what he was interested in, you know. Like, he, he was like a young teen, he was a young adult, um, with his girlfriend. And my dad's like... He wants audio stuff, like stuff that is audio. He doesn't really want games. I tried to offer him games earlier, but he didn't really want that. That's when he told my dad told me to wait. So I'm like, oh, well, what do you mean? He's like, you need to give him something that has a lot of bass that he can use that he might be interested in, like audio. So I'm like, I have an idea. So I had a DS left. Um, the do the. Uh, they, there was a couple and three children, and one of them wanted my 3DS, so I gave it to them for like $20 or 15 They bought some games and left, also included with the charger for free. Um, 
that's not smart not sponsored but um yeah so they ran off and all I had love left was a DS and a, a Guitar Hero game so I'm like huh I have an idea so my dad's like you have any cool audio stuff I could use like a headphone jack for this cause the DS at the time I had a headphone jack my dad's like yeah sure and he had a couple of this audio stuff my dad's like okay got the thing he can trade him and my dad was you know making sure if it was a good thing to trade to him he's like yeah sure what it was was a guitar hero and a DS but here's the thing my dad had some speakers or something to make it sound really great and like bounce off the walls really good audio in a truck or something like they had and my dad found a box over at the dude way all the cra all the way across the street that's like about 20 miles at least so he got this big box full of audio stuff audio audio technician stuff all the stuff so I was asking if I could borrow a little bit he's like sure he's like okay just to make him you know accept the deal a little bit more is that people love money and money talks and I mean dude money has a mouth at this point like it's like this money has a mouth literally so like my dad was like okay um add a little money to to the equation and he you know got a pretty decent deal with this guy so you know I was you know cross my heart hoping to die you know like cr I don't know what the saying is cross my heart and hope to die I don't know what it is but I did I did that chant you know where I put my finger on my shoulder on my other shoulder and on my chest and then I kiss into the air a dab cringe and I got off you know I just went to the dude took a deep breath inhaled and I asked hey dude um I was wondering like I you know I told this dude like hey bro I got some this really cool DS um you can put it in your car and like put a headphone jack into it I read the extraction out instructions off the box of the audio thing my dad had and I completely forgot that I had the money to bribe him with in my back pocket you know as a backup you know um like a boost I guess I should say like um mushroom in Mario Kart for example um so like the you know so I like I had Guitar Hero on a DS and I'm like hey bro you can do this blah 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 I was just talking about all the stuff I can do and blah blah blah. I was pretty much acting like a salesman at freaking 11. I mean 12. Bro, like, this happened in 2016, somewhere around the summer bit of the last couple of, last month or last couple of weeks of summer. So I was like, asking the dude, you know, are you interested? And his girlfriend was like, ah, oh, come on, um, so and so, someone, uh, boyfriend. Oh, uh, he, he's trying. He's trying. I, I, you know, I think he won this battle. He, he's trying really hard. I think he did a good job. Um, uh, here you go. We'll trade it. And I would, uh, you know, I scored. And I, I brought the PS Vita over in excitement. And I said, thank you, man. And I think we shook hands. And I said goodbye. And I went over to my dad. And I'm like, I got the PS Vita, man. And I got it. You know, it was beautiful. It didn't turn on, obviously, because batteries dead. They didn't know where, you know, they probably lost a charger or didn't have enough money to buy it. So, my dad was like, wow, it actually worked. And my dad's like, did you get the money? And I remembered instantly. I'm like, I got something better. I smirked, got my the money out of my pocket. My dad's like, oh, crap, you forgot to give it to him? And I'm like, yeah, is that bad or good? like no um, uh, not good I guess he didn't know how what to say if it was good or bad so he tried to give the money back to the dude and he's like huh just keep it man and my dad gave me the money back that I earned from selling my 3ds and I was excited to have the money that I got and um you know the Vita Vita I was really happy with what I got and um, I did some research, you know, on stuff. And um, here's the thing: I went with my nana. No, actually, this was in the middle of summer, where 
my name I came over no actually no this was actually in the middle of summer where my mom Nana came over we had a garage sale I had the last couple of hours with my family and it was fun she took me Nana took me to her house for two weeks we had so much fun but here's the um, a side story along with the PS Vita that I should tell you about is that the money that I got from selling my 3DS and the games for it and a couple of games for the, 3, for the DS and I think a Nerf gun I don't know I can't remember but I actually bought a couple of games I tried to buy one of the games I wanted and it was supposedly I did some research before I went to this GameStop and my Nana was like, yeah, I don't know, because my Nana was worried because I was watching documentaries about serial killers. And you probably think I'm a weird kid. Wow, really? A 12-year-old watching documentaries? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I still watch them. Um, watch them anytime I can. I don't watch it frequently. I sometimes watch it and I enjoy it. I'm weird. Don't judge me. I like documentaries, whatever, about serial killers because it's interesting to me. So, um, I, you know, I, I got a charger that was about 20 or $12 that had a bundle with it, you know, and another side story to this story, and on top of it, boom, mind blown of pure, just things on top of things. Anyway, so I sold this bundle with a wall charger and a freaking car charger. So, I went over, my Nana called the dude, he said he'd be ready for us at GameStop, and we went over there, got it, got a couple of games for it, got Batman Arkham Knight, I had a puzzle in it, I hated it because I couldn't get through it, and I had a couple of games, I had Borderlands 2 with it, had Call of Duty, Definitive Version, def Defense, or whatever, it was actually not bad for Call of Duty. Um. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. I don't play with my PS Vita as much is because I don't have that many games for it. I played most of the games that I got from it at my Nana's house. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story. Also, another thing, I want Hotline Miami 2 for it. And we also got a 7 volt car battery for it, or car charger for it at Walmart. When I got the Vita before I got the charger, just, you know, no, I got the charger, you know, when I was going to my mom's house. Just a little bit of more of the story to piece everything together. Hope you guys enjoyed this chilled out video, and I'm trying, I, I'm trying to have a mixture of crazy videos that I make and chill videos that you guys can listen to without your ears bleeding out from me screaming on making a goal in Rocket League. And... Yeah, I had a lot of fun making Rocket League. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and this is a story. I, I haven't made a story in so long, but my first story was so cringy. Jesus. Oh, God. Makes me want to cringe super hard when I watch it, but this is my new story that I uploaded. Hope you guys enjoyed. By the way, this happened recently. Anyway, see ya. I'm sorry this is a long end card. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, alligator.